はいというわけで、えー、ワールドワイド FM、WW 京都フィーチャリング、京都グラフィーアットデルタということで、ここからはトークをね、お送りしたいと思います、ちょっとサラさん、トランスレートお願いします。<笑> So we have two special guests. I don't know if we're invading your space or you're coming into ours, but first of all, congratulations for cartography. We have the organizers of cartography today, Lucille and Nakanisa. So, two congratulations one for the cartography exhibition and two for this beautiful space. Delta. Delta. So, 2020 has been a crazy year for all of us, but how has that affected cartography this year?、Yeah. So, we supposed to open the festival this、uh, April.、Mm. So, every year c a r t o g r a p h y is opening in April, but、uh, this year we couldn't for the COVID. So, we postponed our festival to the autumn. So, now finally we could open. So, we are very happy for that. Yes, we're all happy. Yes,、yeah, so it was,、uh, yeah, as you said, Sarah, very、um, challenging for everybody. And、um, I think in the cultural and、uh, all the events, I mean, it's、uh, real like、um, all the cultural, like.、Um, The world is really like、uh, shaking now, and it's very hard to follow our project. And、uh, of course, we went through like many like、uh, phases like, are we going to be able to do it or not? And、um, a lot of changes, of course, occurs because related to the、um, crisis. But on the other hand, it really forced us to rethink a lot of、um, things in our festival. So, We, it was in a way interesting, I think.、Mm-hmm. We created cartography almost 10 years ago, right after the disaster of March 11.、Oh、and it's really resonated in the same, like it was quite similar、mm-hmm. situation we faced like yeah, 10 years ago. So, a festival is the, the aim of a festival, I mean, the role of a festival like that is to really exist in this kind of moment when we are like. Losing our direction. I think it's important to have events like cartography, maybe, and like many other ones all around the world to really be able to gather the society and to be together. To I think so, and I think it's been not a sense of relief, but I think it's brought so much joy to the people here to see you guys like hold this exhibition. You know, I'm sure you it was so difficult. You know, so many things to think about, but I think we're all so grateful, and the exhibition's been wonderful. So, thank you for bringing it to 2020 as well. I think so too, because、uh, so many events c a n c e l e d especially music e v e n t nothing happened. But, k y o t o g r a p h y is my hope because、uh, you both made it. So, Good inspiration for me. Also, you know, not only people in Kyoto, you know, all over Japan, every city has a similar problem, but you know, they are watching you, Kyoto Graphy. So, I think、uh, great message. Also, exactly your theme is vision. So we need a vision. That's why I, I meant hope for us, not only me. Thank you so much. So we are very happy to have also、uh, this event, Worldwide FM, in、uh, our new space.、Mm-hmm. So this is the first、like, kind of event with、uh, other teams. So we are very happy to welcome the. Yeah. World Wide FM here. Thank you. And please like, tell us about your new space. Okay, so、um, we make、uh, our permanent space. Cartography is、uh, only one, one time in a year,、mm-hmm. only for、uh, one month. We show the exhibition in all over Kyoto. But、uh, we, we wanted to have、uh, our own space. and.、Uh, Showing some artwork or making some workshop or event during the year. So that's 
Finally, we could have a space. In the especially this Shotengai, all the uh, shopping arcade, which we love the, this space, so we could open here, so which is very happy. Yeah, it's such a unique local shopping arcade and very local, local people. And I'm sure they're excited that such a new energy has come here. Yeah, I think it's also in, it was in the, um, from the beginning in Kyotography, we really, f from the first edition, really like connect with the community. It was very impor important to be very like inclusive and to really like make things together. And um, and that was very like when we moved to Kyoto ten years ago. It it was our neighborhood, so we were okay. shopping in this neighborhood, in this Shotengai almost every day, and we love it. And we thought it's a kind of that's a treasure of Kyoto to have mm -hmm. places like that. And uh, we definitely want this Shotengai to keep mm -hmm. alive and. Uh, that's why when we finally thought maybe it could be an interesting with this this uh, fish shop was closing. I mean, it was oh, a fish was shop. A fish yeah, shop. that's why you have the that's fish. Why we put everywhere. the fish, African fish. So uh, oh, oh I see. You see him like. So yeah, we thought it could there. be finally very interesting for cartography to be in a short and guy <laughs> yeah, like that. In a fish yeah. shop, yeah. Definitely, definitely. And then our first exhibition is this uh, uh, African artist. Omar Victor Diop, who is from uh, Senegal, Dakar. So we invite him to the Kyoto last autumn, and he stay in uh, Kyoto Machia near near here mm -hmm. for the ten days. And then we communicate. Uh, he communicate this Shotengai shop owner, and then he shoot each owner's uh, portrait. I and then love also it. Also, he shoot many uh, things they are selling so and also he shoot kimono pattern or chiyogami pattern and he make a beautiful uh, how do you say collage, collage. Yeah. yeah I mean and actually the owner of the fish shop is just outside oh with her little dog oh. yeah and she was so moved that we transformed the space like that and she's coming here for her car. she's here with her oh, she comes here for the I coffee kumbama that's amazing. So that's really the community like gets this space also at their space and that's really what we wanted to have like a mix of generation mm. of um, that's very important for us like uh, to have that communication and also for the past owner to be so proud of this new space you know and have that relationship is great and seeing these you know, they must have been so happy, like feeling like a model, yeah. getting their photos yeah, taken. Exactly. So we present all this uh, print to the owner and then this big version, two meter by three meter huge print it's is hanging yes. in the arcade. So mm -hmm. which is quite a surprising uh, exhibition. Yes. This. And I don't think we've talked about the um, theme of this year yet, so vision. Oh, yes. And it seems very topical for this year, but can you please explain a little bit about the theme for this year? So we decided this vision uh, as a th theme, our theme for 2020 because uh, it's not only Japan, maybe in the world, so we don't have clear the future vision so but now it's, it's in the world we have same matter especially big matter like uh, climate change and also this COVID so we cannot uh, control only ourselves we have to unite uh, all over the world and then we have to find a solution so that's why we think uh, we have to share the vision and then we change the world together so that's uh, our theme for this year. I think really important because actually I read the news today. Uh, I forgot who was author, but uh, this man said uh, now so many politicians doesn't have any vision, just selfish, their purpose to continue their power. So they don't care about any um, future just now 
and maybe money and power. So we need vision from, uh, you know, nation, citizen, not from top of authority. So I think you both chose uh, this theme. It's very important at this moment. I think so. I think uh, chasing money is a too old style. I think now we, we change the, this world in Japan after Fukushima and uh, also after Corona, we should change the system. So I think chasing the just money is too old style. We have to, you know, money couldn't make people happy. So we have to have a new system, I think. あの具体的にこうあアーティストの紹介なんかはねしていただけると。Can you introduce our program? So this is Mari Katayama. She is a Japanese contemporary artist. So she use her own body, which is when she was nine years old, she cut her legs. She decide herself, and then she put the how to say artificial legs. Yeah. So and then she take her self the as a. Photograph, portrait, and artworks. And this year, this is her new new artwork. After she got a baby, and then she changed the artwork. So she take herself body more close up her body. And sorry. And this is her installation. This is her. All the work, yeah. It's really like a sublimation of the difference. Yes. It's really amazing, like uh, amazing. the work. And something, uh, sorry, like, you know, when people's body, like if they have something that's not considered to be normal, some people find it hard to look at that. But she's made it so normal and beautiful yeah. and into artwork, which is so special. Exactly. Yeah, it's very beautiful artwork. And this uh, Marie Katayama's um, exhibition will go to Paris uh, at Maison Européenne de la Photographie, which is a very famous like photography institution, mm -hmm. with who we collaborate for this show. Oh yeah. wow! Yeah, so we are supported for already four years by uh, Ruinard, mm -hmm. and um, they commissioned. They have this really. Uh, I mean, historical like um, relation with art, and they are really like patron. And um, so every year they are commissioning like um, artists. And uh, this year they started also a residence more related to photography. And Elsa Lidier was one of the first like laureate of this kind of residence. Mm. And uh, it's a really beautiful work. We are showing that in Hosso. Yes, I mm. really want to go to this yeah. one. It's so and beautiful. she's really playing with very old um, uh, techniques. techniques and um, sunlight yeah, and so it's uh, very playful, her installation. She's really talented. Yes, wow. theme is uh, heat waves. It's, uh, it's related for the glo oh, global warming. Yeah. yeah, It's like really well put together. And I'm guessing the artist couldn't come to curate the space so how did you communicate and how did you create these spaces for each artist? I mean, as we always uh, work I mean with Yusuke first we start from the theme of course from an idea and then from that we choose artists and uh, and we then the the, and then we think okay who's the best designer in or architect to Collaborate, collaborate and to really like, uh, as you know, it's quite immersive in a way, like the way we are inviting people to discover the work in the in the venue. So it's um, really it's really like uh, tailored. I mean, crafted because mm. then we work with um, yeah, sometimes with craftsmen actually, with um, architect. I mean, we have some interesting scenographies this year, I think. Too. Amazing. And this is Win Sha, who is a, a Hong Kong uh, photographer. He used to work with uh, Wong Kar Wai, uh, film director. So this is a uh, uh, in the mood for love. So 20 years ago's movie, and this is uh, Buenos Aires. So he started uh, photographer's career 
with Bonkawa's movie. And then after he became most famous uh, Hong Kong fashion photographer. So I used to work with him, very talented uh, photographer. Yeah, and we, we, exhibited, we exhibit this artist in um, Kondaya Gambe's uh, Machia, which is very Greek deep. Machia. So we use this deep Machia for the exhibition, way of the exhibition. It's like a obi, this is obi. The uh, idea was to really unroll an obi of pictures. Or yeah. a film, so it's like a long film. So, and this uh, architect is uh, uh, Endo, no. Katsuhiko Endo, so, so we work with him and uh, make this scenography. Yeah, impressive. Always I'm so surprised combination between artist and venue. Mm. Every year, kind of shocking. Mm. Yeah, also, That's great. Yeah. I'm looking forward to check mm. Kyoto graphy. What's which kind of artist, which kind of situation. It's mm -hmm. combination yeah. is important of element of choreography. Yeah. We like to make a good surprise for the audience. Mm. Yeah. So this is um, a young artist who got an uh, award uh, last year. We have wow. a KG Plus this, uh, uh, for the Young Artist uh, mm -hmm. Satellite Festival. So he got a, a prize last year. So he's a... Um, uh, during the 10 years, he do this uh, uh, delivery bento box to the old people, oh. especially living themselves, like a single, how do you say? That's so sweet. So oh he brings gosh. every day the bento box and then he communicate with uh, Ojicha, Obacha and then taking photographs. So is which this is in quite Kyoto touching. or No, it's, it was Kyoto. in Kawasaki, okay. nearby Tokyo. How but somehow this work takes a really like a quite a resonating a lot with what we are facing mm. because I think a lot of old people like um, yeah. in this past months exactly. were very lonely and uh, probably it's some drama, nice, a lot of drama happened and yeah. it's quite, uh, this work is really amazing, yeah. yeah. So oh, this is beautiful so picture, sweet. so she was waiting him. He's coming mm. with bento, Aww. so he, she, <laughs> you know, put the manicure and... Uh, oh, getting all dolled yeah. up for so the bento cute. delivery. Yeah. Oh, she's so sweet. And it's amazing that, you know, they've allowed and trusted him enough to allow him to take these pictures. Yeah. Must have had, like, a really special relationship. Yeah, very special relationship he created, yeah. Oh, and yes. this I is go to uh, this one as well. Dutch yeah. uh, woman artist who is making an uh, architectural installation. Yeah. yeah, probably one of the most challenging projects Kyotography <laughs> did so <laughs> this far. Year. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think so in our history. Used to work, like, this is yeah. Gaza after yeah. the bomb from Israel, and uh, she created uh, this uh, broken pieces, and then so she created a new kind of. So very structure. spiritual becomes a kind of spiritual space like uh, mm. and uh, we were inspired to invite her with Yusuke because we were so sad like seeing all this machia getting demolished mm. like especially in the years before like the olympics so we Kyoto thought we want to do so that's a project we did with her so then oh uh, she came she stayed four months in kyoto and we found a house which was going to be demolished and she could make this really Unbelievable, it's completely mind blowing installation. Oh my gosh, I mean, I can't even imagine where to start with this. It's, it's human made, it's, she takes three months, yeah, like yeah. she yeah. takes uh, yeah, piece by piece. She moved some pieces of houses from one side to other, and so it's very touching because you can see also the time. It's like um, layers of time because she was digging in the floor, finding some pottery from the old days and uh, taking all the layers of the house. It's really, I mean, that's something absolutely to see while it's still in the city because and it's... She did this in three months? She yeah. went, yeah. With her Dutch assistant and also Kyoto staff. 
like um, so Daiki who has sister like uh, yeah I'm impressed that she did that in yeah, three it's months. Amazing. amazing. It's a it was crazy project. And this is a young uh, photographer who lives in the uh, mountain of uh, Kyoto, countryside, uh, Keihoku. Yeah, and uh, he actually he was uh, born in a uh, kimono dai, dying uh, mm. family uh, in Tokyo, but he couldn't. Uh, follow the, this uh, dying uh, uh, artisan, mm. craftsman, as a craftsman. So he 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 feel so shame for that, and then he decided to go all over Japan, and then to see the same generation young uh, uh, traditional artisan craftsman to see them, and then shoot their portrait. So this is ten years Uh, and this is uh, after 10 years. Uh, oh my god. So everybody continues, uh, still continues the uh, traditional craft. And then she, he asked them to image the 10 years later. 10 years uh, themselves. And then he should, he make an umbrella type uh, 150 years ago. The, uh, Photograph. Uh, this that camera in the Tokonoma mm. is a huge camera, and this umbrella type is uh, printed directly on the glass. So, and then in front of the photograph, they put their craft. What? That's amazing to give back in that way because yeah. he couldn't follow, you know, the this family footsteps. This is also footstep. beautiful. I was wondering what the story behind these photos were, and now it's just, you know, it gives yeah. it so much context and so much meaning. Yeah. And then we made a tea room as a camera, <laughs> so you can go into the tea room, so you can go into the camera, so you see the garden. Upside down. This is camera obscura. Oh, wow. it's you're, you're entering the camera obscura, so yeah. that's really. Yes. Uh, yeah, that experience, the camera experience. And this is a French artist who shoot a ballet dancer in a Opera de Paris. Yes. Yeah, Pierre Elite Pibrac is um, so a French uh, photographer who like do like very long term like projects. Beautiful. And this is um, yeah, like he worked in Opera Opera de Paris, and this work was exhibited by Chanel at Nexus Hall in Tokyo wow. first. And uh, we have always every year like in uh, since the beginning of Kyotography, mm. some exchange. This is the Kyoto with, Prefecture. Um, and it's beautiful, like European style, like building is really nice. What was the concept behind his photography? Like the ballet dancers and the dancers. Did he just want to capture the dancers or did he have a particular uh, theme? Three series. One is behind the uh, stage. Mm. So one is on the stage and one is the architect and dancer. Mm. So oh, I want to see that one. Series. It's beautiful. Wow. And this is uh, Omar Victor artist. Diops. He's a very famous work. Uh, called diaspora. Yeah, Omar Victor, so he's from uh, Senegal, mm -hmm. and uh, he came out first with this really like iconic series, Diaspora, which he embodies like some important characters of the diaspora, like the post, like uh, uh, after, I mean, that's mo some of them are like slaves who became like very active, some in mm -hmm. some way, like in uh, in their times. And uh, and became really like um, important people, but somehow they strangely disappeared from the history book, even though they did like brilliant things in their times. So it's a kind of tribute to all these characters who really like uh, yeah change and uh, and in a day which it was as you can imagine very hard to be like uh, with a black skin in Europe. Yes. So. Uh, yeah, Omar Victor. Like, so it's all self-portrait. He does like this. Really, really yeah, amazing. it's really amazing. It's and uh, and I remember when we start to see these pictures in the 
in the magazines. It was really like uh, quite um, very striking. Yeah. So we went to meet Omar in uh, Senegal last year before like commission that this work you can see in Delta like today. Yeah. This is a uh, this Masu Masu Masugata. This all the shop owner of this Masugata shopping arcade. So so he created this. Uh, Portrait. Yeah, and Omar felt so much so connection, good. actually, be like African market mm -hmm. and our Shoten guy here, like he could feel like, so that was a real like transcultural like project. It was very interesting, I think, for him to yeah, like... Was uh, it his first time to be yeah, here? Yeah, 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 first time in Japan, and but somehow we could connect like so easily with uh, wow. everybody. Yeah. Two very different cultures and yeah. you know, f finding similarities. That's amazing. So this is Marie Ries, a uh, French uh, woman photographer. So she shoot uh, a picture of the blind kids uh, image, and, uh, and then we photography made a how do you say like a touching. Print like uh, the even blind people can mm. see the so it's texturized. picture. Yeah. So this is uh, we create a wow. like a touching photograph. So, That's so it was a real to, yeah. Yeah, we research with a lab like to really make we made so much test and we communicate. I mean we had some advisor from the blind community yeah. to really check all the trials and was this made in Japan? Yeah, uh, in a Japanese uh, technology. Incredible. And uh, we want to share with the blind people how to see the vision. So That's, I mean, all the photographers fit so perfectly with the theme. Like, I'm so impressed because they're so different, yet the theme. So but the last one is a Kyoto super local photographer. <laughs> the, he's um, oh, so 70 cute. years old photographer street photographer he from the 1960s until now he every day he put the camera from his shoulder and then he's walking around the kamogawa and then taking people the photograph so it's quite a touching like a uh, scene around the Kamo Kamo River. And it's so nice because so many people around here see themselves like when they were oh, kids really? or the, so that's so <gasps> that's it's so such an excitement fun. for everybody it's in the neighborhood like amazing. to have this exhibition yeah how did you find him oh, he's, he's, uh, he's part oh, of yeah, our he's <laughs> no one cares it's a legend i need yeah. to find him i need to find him it's amazing wow. Wow. and then also we have a uh, uh, kg plus which is uh, our satellite festival so we have almost like a 70 uh, venue all over kyoto so that the satellite also uh, goes by the theme vision as yeah, well. Yeah, so but quite it's more uh, it's more free. I think. Yeah, but uh, uh, many social matter photograph yeah. and. Uh, but somehow, yeah, the artist tried to connect with oh, the theme nice. and to, yeah. and we found it like select like uh, in the third years we are doing that. It's like ten artists from KG Plus are selected, mm -hmm. and you can see their work in Jumpu School. And one of these ten artists will be exhibiting photography next year. Ooh. Yeah. Exciting. というわけで、あのー、ね解説していただいたんですけど、Thank you for explaining for each artist.、えー、from September 19th to October 18th, Sunday 2020ということで、えー、京都グラフィー、あのー、I just checked the three. So、I need to check more. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> あの本当にですね。It, it was great. No, お世辞。お世辞ってなんていうの。In English. It's not. <laughs> it's not lying because you know, photography is not only for photography. We、uh, we found today, あのファッションそれからアーキテクチャ。ダンス、そしてジャパニーズクラフトあのーあのー、people in street this exhibition for everybody every kind of culture not only photo、yeah. fun ね、yeah, exactly. yeah, that's why if people 
is not interested in you know, checking picture, photography, but they can enjoy. For example, I'm, I went to Kyoto Prefecture building. Many, many ladies, girls coming, but they love picture, photo. Of course, maybe some of them, you know, ballet people, because they talk about uh, dancers, also theater. So I think Kyotography can combine from different kind of yeah, yeah. culture, well, different kind of mm, people. Exactly, and that's the reason why we decided to use like um, spaces which are not normally like spaces for um, exhibiting artwork. So that's why we use like machia, temple, historical venues, like to really bring the artwork to the people and to break like the distance. Yeah. We want to make a democracy for the art. Mm. あの本当にね素晴らしいあの展覧会なんでぜひ皆さんあの会期まだ続いてますんで遊びに行ってください。はいというわけで、えー、今夜のですねワールドワイド FM、WW 京都ゲストは京都グラフィーから中西さんとルシールさんをお迎え,お迎えしました。どううもありがとうございましたありがとうございました。